hey what is up guys akar share back with another video and i hope so that every uh, person who does electronics to some level or the other knows this baby this is the dc power step down or the dc buck converter it basically can convert your uh, high dc into low dc according to your uh, value according to what you want without any uh, linear voltage regulator rubbish so this is what we are going to take a look at today everybody knows well i mean uh, many people know how does this work why does this work and etc etc but the secret behind all this is this uh, ic right here which is the lm l2596 you may take a closer look at this buck converter if you haven't till now so this we are going to study this ic and then we might probably reverse engineer or find a circuit diagram of this type of a power converter later so firstly taking a look at the l2596 so that's the l2596 which is used in these type of dc buck converters so this is also stated as a voltage regulator simple switcher power converter and what not so this is the basic pin out of this so let's check out what are the pins and for what purpose are these so 1 2 3 4 and 5 so the first pin is the voltage in the second pin is the out pin the third pin is the ground pin these are the three major pins the fourth pin is the feedback pin and the fifth pin is the on or off pin and now we will see a basic block diagram types of this uh regulator so when we use this i see in the circuit we have a block like this and we can accordingly put any number say 1 2 3 4 5 and connect it to various sources so we will use this type of diagram for this l2596 voltage regulator i see and uh, yeah that's it voltage in is the value which the voltage is input right here voltage out the plus out voltage dc out voltage uh, the ground is these are both are connected which is with the negative terminal feedback is for looping systems is that i will explain in the uh, circuit diagram itself on or off we have to just connect this pin to ground ground for on and no signal no for off nothing i mean no connection slash no connection so this is pre con this pin which is the fifth pin is generally connected to the ground and we will check this out in the circuit diagram itself uh, let's move to the whiteboard for the circuit diagram and reverse engineering so called reverse engineering so i was successful in making the circuit diagram of this of uh, dc buck converter and using the l2596 which is this part right here so l2596 i took some did some reverse engineering and took some help from the internet and this was the result of this circuit right here so let's understand what's uh, the circuit and what's the how the l2596 works so this is the input terminals there are two uh, input capacitors one uh, micro which is this one uh, this uh, this is the 220 microfarad 50 volt uh, electrolytic capacitor and a ceramic capacitor in parallel to this that is 100 nanofarad this connection goes to the l2596 right over here uh, the first pin is the v in as we saw v in so the positive voltage directly goes to the input uh, directly goes to the input pin 
uh, the fifth pin we had seen was the on off pin so that is the on bar off pin and that he here we see is connected to the ground to the ground so it is in the on state the ic the l2596 is in the on state because of this grounding the third pin we saw was a ground of the ic so that is also connected to the ground moving to the output side there is some simple uh, there is some complex uh, circuitry right here firstly the second terminal we saw was v out so that is going directly to the output terminal using an inductor and the fourth pin we saw was a feedback the feedback pin is so connected to this uh, capacitor rc circuit that is the variable uh, 10 uh, this is the 10 kilo ohm multi turn uh, potentiometer variable one and that is the uh, 100 nanofarad again a uh, ceramic type capacitor uh, this lands into here there is no connection there is no overlapping at this terminal so the feedback and this is connected a uh, 330 ohm standard resistor which is present somewhere in here okay so that is the work of feedback so when there's output and uh, the grounding circuit works and so on that is yeah so there the output goes there is a short key diode present for high frequencies i guess a uh, reverse biased this is reversed bias that's negative and that's positive that's the output voltage so it also does the work of some filtering also there is a parallel capacitor here which is again of 220 microfarad and electro electrolytic but a smaller one this is a 35 volt capacitor so that's in the output this is the output side this is the input side so we can do it like this and like this so this is the input side this is the output side we see some inductors for uh, high frequency uh, AC filtration here some capacitors capacitors uh, couple of capacitors couple of capacitors here a uh, couple of resistors a short key diode I don't know what the function of the short key diode is it will not be filtering I guess because there is a lot of filtering happening already and this is for DC so I don't know the purpose of short key diode if somebody knows please tell me I'll be happy to know what is the function so this is how the L2596 works so you if you are not having an access to this type of circuit and you want to make a variable DC something like make a circuit in which you're varying like I had made a video in past using this or uh, a similar type of chip which was using the L2596 I had made a five dollar a variable power supply unit for the lab for way for various currents you can uh, apply this so that's uh, the application of this you can for use it for R&D purposes etc etc and that's it if you don't have access to this you can now using this circuit diagram make it easily by yourself that's only circuit which is involved right in here uh, this uses SMD parts you can obviously use through hole parts like the inductor and stuff and hell a lot circuits and that's it if you like this video give it a thumbs up and thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel till now do it what are you waiting for this is Akash signing off